How's it going guys? So today's video is going to be on something I built in Minecraft, but I've also now replicated in Tongue. And so that means it's a, quite a bit smaller and it's a lot quicker. So each one of these cells, it contains a decoder here and an encoder here. So the way this works is a number comes in through this input and comes this way and comes across here and gets decoded. So right now there's zeros coming in. So you, where you see there's uh, red, that's the the uh, not gates. And when there's not red, that means it's not a not gate. It's, a, it's like a repeater would be in Minecraft. Um, so you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can see there's nine inputs, and that maps to you know for BCD one through nine. Now the, I was working on decoders, and I was just too lazy to redesign it in a smaller cell because you literally have to redo it. You can't just yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Um, but I was too lazy to do that, so this was just a proof of concept. So yeah, it could be shorter, it could be cut off here. Um, but it also gave me some room to add some extra stuff, which I needed later, like uh, this thing, so I can clear without adding delay to my data path. Um, so anyway, the way this works is, oh, I guess, yeah. So the way this works, I guess I should say, is data comes in, gets decoded as a BCD number. So, you know, one would map here, two would map there, three maps there, four there, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one would encode to one, two encodes to two, three encodes to three, four encodes to four, but five is greater than four, so you have to add three to it, and that encodes as eight. So that's why there's an eight there, then it goes nine, 10, 11, 12. So you encode those outputs like that, they come through, through the registers, de uh, the D flip flops, and back around. So um, what I can do here is I can show you just an 8-bit example. So here's going to be the number 225. And that number is going to stream in serial through all these into here and just right into here. And when I press this button here, what's going to happen is these flip-flops will stay open for the amount of ticks needed for that to get through and be at the right spot. So when I press this, we're going to see 225 instantly. And there's our 225. So we just streamed data in through a single port, but it just happened so quickly. It's so quickly. So now if we want, we can make 225 or 255 like this. And we click that button to reset and then that button to write, and then we get 255. Um, and then we can, we can keep going. Um, clear it. So now it's clear. The output, now we have 511, which is 1 minus 512. So this is going to be 1,023, 1,023, then, you know, we can see what this is going to be. It's going to be like 16,000, no, 8,192, and uh, 16,383, 32,7,67. Sixty-five, fifty-three, or five thirty-five. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, working pretty nicely. And then yeah, we can just do like the last bit to show you that. Well, I guess it's not really impressive just sending one bit of serial through, but we'll clear it and we'll just send that. And then we get um. Well, that did not clear. There you go. Oh, maybe it did. Oh, we get three, two, seven, six, uh, eight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Thirty-two, seven, sixty-eight, which is double sixteen, three eighty-four. Um, so yeah, this is BCD or binary to BCD, um, and it's beautiful because I can literally just keep adding input bits. I can keep on adding them to my heart's delight. I had to split them up into upper byte and lower byte like this because of. The, uh, it's just getting these wires to reach uh, when is, who hasn't going to work if those were right over here plus it's nice seeing it bite separated like that but yeah you can literally just keep stacking that and then you just stack these cells literally um, all you have to do you press V you go to copy or clone board you click that come up here right click rotate bring it up one Boom. And there you have it. You make your wires, you add some bits, 
and you're good. Um, then if you want to say move that. Uh, wait, whoops. Uh, I want to move. I want to move that. Get it off, off of here. Go back to there. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's what this is doing for now. I'm probably going to build a combination of one when I can figure out the best way that to stack it, because you have you have to stack with gravity in mind, so you can't stack anything above and not have anything below. So you can't build like a triangular thing like that. So I have to be careful about how I stack this um, for the, the combinational, but at least sequentially and serially like this, super easy to expand. Oh, and then the last thing I was gonna say is the way to expand it is you add more delay here on this SR latch. So this SR latch will hold open these cells for enough time for you to propagate all this in, which is three ticks per one of these things. The reason you get three ticks is you get a tick through the memory cell. You get a tick through either the buffer or the, the blotter, they call it, or the inverter. So that's a tick. And then you get another tick through this inverter. So that's three ticks. Then it gets encoded and wrapped back around. So that's a three tick delay, which means you need to stream serial in at three ticks. Um, so that's how I get a blotter going into a another blotter going into another blotter so then there's like one two three per thing except for the first one and also on the other yeah it's it I timed this thing myself so like uh, you could have added one here and removed one over there but whatever it doesn't matter it's, it's fine it may not be uniform but it w works and I could just keep stacking this uh, as far as I want so yeah you guys like this content and like seeing super quick things that it that uh, can be made in tongue, or especially things that I made in Minecraft that can be remade in tongue. Uh, let me know below. I know some of you guys don't really like that I'm you playing tongue now, but I think this is going to be kind of where I simulate all of my circuits from now on because of just how quick it is.